All right, looks like the stream is going. And looks like the mic is plugged in this time. It was plugged in last time, but it just didn't work right. Anyways, hello, evil. Today we'll be streaming South South's Musa mode and just his, because he has eight stages. And that should take long enough for at least two hours. Rulers usually have some long stages, too. I am Kao Kao. As of now, the people across the land are suffering, and the glory of the Han Imperial Court has faded. The land is doomed to chaos. A world of chaos is like a living hell. However, beyond the chaos lies a new world. I must follow my ambitions and create a new land of my own design. First, I must join the campaign against the Yellow Turbans who are plaguing the land. Let us go. This is to be the first step on my path to conquest. I am Hei Jin. I will be commanding the army for the battle against the Yellow Turbans. Those of you who have come to fight on behalf of the Han, the gratitude of your emperor is with you. We are now heading to Ji to take out Zhang Xiao, the leader of the Yellow Turbans, who is holed up in their main base. It is said that Zhang Xiao and his brothers can control the elements. Therefore, if we take his brothers out, things should be a little easier. All right, prepare to go to battle for the glory of the Han. So the chaos of the land has spread this far. Ah! A world at war. And now, our time has come! Let's go. Once we bring an end to the chaos, this land will be ours. I like how Shahadun is present in the cutscene. However, he is not with Cao Cao in the actual battle. It's so odd. Even if you play as Shahadun, despite him being in this cutscene, you don't get this stage. Him being in that cutscene is a lie. The Major, however, is here. I saw someone mention Dynasty Warriors 3, like, uh... All the regular characters have seven stages for their Musa modes, and the rulers have ten. Yeah, that was torturous to play through. Took so damn long. That's more attack, but it's medium. More life, too. Eh, I'll go with it. And it just feels right to bring Dion Pei for Cao Cao. Right, already let the unit info. Zhang Jiao has unexpectedly become the leader of the times. So, Cao Cao, what role do you envision will be yours to play in this time of chaos? Who who are you? I am known as Zuo Chi, and I am still waiting to hear your answer. Cow Cow, lead your army east. Sun Jian, you attack the center. And that is the first time we've seen Zuo Chi. Volunteers will head around to the altar in the west. If I recall correctly, he only shows up in two Muso modes: Cao Cao's and Chu Zhu's. Not counting his own, obviously.
spare Hondong. Maybe. You know, I guess I can afford to do that this time. Sao Tao is one rank away from being max, le max level. He doesn't really need the extra HP. Come and prevent these foolish beasts from fouling your air. Rise! Rise and blow them away! Stay the course. Aim for the one controlling the wind. It's about time I faced a worthy Feel opponent. My ambition cannot be stopped. Out of all the ruler, like, sword users, Sao Tao definitely has the most unique moveset. Oh, it's entirely unique, I believe. He's got some pretty good attacks, like his charge sits has a lot of multi-hit swings. Uh, before I go after Zheng Men Cheng... Let's see, where is it? Yeah, I spared Ching Yuanji so many times, it's time to no longer spare him. Spooner will not be happy. Yeah. Fortunately, I don't think he's watching. Nobody tell him what I did. I like how just killing enough officers caused the brainwashing to be delayed. the tiger's den if you wish to catch a tiger. Get a little soon, John, in this tiger trivia. I won't be denied next time. My ambition cannot be stopped. Ah, whoops. Time I, faced a worthy opponent. I meant to just hurt him a little bit and then let one guy take care of him. Ah, a shame. Now you made me angry. I do like how when we approached him, one guy was just beating the shit out of him, though.
It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. My ambition cannot be stopped. Let the wrath of heaven fall upon you! Heavens, grant me a miracle! Lend us your strength as we fight in your name. Do away with these infidels! Slay the conjurer! Then the rocks will halt as well! <laughs> That is how it's supposed to be done. My ambition. I forgot Tsao releases a fire orb. I thought it was an ice orb he releases. Because I don't think the orbs are tied to your element, considering uh, Sao P was shooting out death and ice orbs. We shall rebuild the land and do away with these foolish remnants of the Han. I shall lead my people to glorious victory! Now, battle the fight with an invincible opponent! There must be some kind of device producing these phantoms. I like how he says to baffle them, but Heejin immediately knows how to deal with them. They summoned Phantom Soldiers and literally no one was surprised. They must have all played the previous Dynasty Warriors games. I'll leave the Phantom Soldiers alive this time, just for the sake of it. I'm kind of curious if Zhang Zhao has any up here with him. Not a one. Heaven has called for the creation of a new world. You shall harm my followers. It also just occurred to me that Jing Zhao has like a unique uh, boss appearance. Like he has a cutscene for that. Like uh, if you notice a lot of the spear users and sword users have uh, basically the same animations for their boss cutscenes. I'm curious of how many other characters have unique ones. Like Pang Dei I believe does as well. The bandit leader, Zhang Xiao, has been defeated, along with his lies. Without him, the yellow turbans are finished. As commander, I would like to thank you all for your service. You know, you think it's like just a mistake that they changed He Jin's voice here? It's actually because it's a sly hint that he's actually a magician, and he can just do this with his voice. I want all of you to return to your homes and continue to loyally serve the Han. We must ensure that the land never again sees such chaos. A new body, this body. Ah, there you are, Kao Kao. 
It's been a while, hasn't it? I've heard about your exploits during the Yellow Turban Rebellion. I see you made quite a name for yourself while I wasn't around. Oh well, we are here now to oust the tyrant Dong Zhuo. I'm sure you will perform even better with I, the great Yuan Shao, leading the attack. Our target is Dong Zhuo. However, his officer Lu Bu will make a tough stand at the Hulao Gate. We must first break through the gate and then get Dong Zhuo. Like how casually Yuan Shao starts that, just like, hey, what's up, Cao Cao? This villain pretends to serve the Emperor, but only serves himself. He shall pay, pay with his life. But everybody follow me. And we shall reclaim the capital. The Han must be returned to its former glory. All right, and the way version of this stage has us show up just on our own first. Never mind the cutscene we just saw where they were all together. Like we're the first ones here. Let's go. We're after one thing and one thing only. Dong Zhuo's head. We must do something about this. <laughs> Thanks for your input, Dion Wei. I like this black and purple outfit for Sapso. Good luck if you think you can break through our defenses. mess with what belongs to me how brave of you I think South South's version of this stage is a bit easier it's basically like having a head start on the battle because you don't have to worry about the uh, Yuan Zhao or your other allies getting wrecked Some battles you lose. My ambition. That's how it's moved, so is a bit awkward, though. Like he twirls up and down. Kind of like he's, I don't know, dancing, I guess. He's got to be good on his feet to twist around like that. I forgot just how long it takes for Yuan Chao and the others to show up. Forward. Let's bring these and that's what I get for opening my mouth. It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. Go 
and attack the enemy camp. This should be easy enough. I can't remember if a cutscene plays for this stage or not. Maybe another Zoot C cutscene. Or I may be thinking of Zoot C's Musa mode where he has this stage and interacts with Zao Zao in it. Just because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. I like how Yuan Chao's force is moving south, the way that Cao Cao already cleared out. Did you think you could overcome this place? You dare mess with what belongs to me? How brave of you! Jumped off a bit too early. I thought that gate captain was a uh, was an officer. Cannot be stopped. Stand and face the enemy. You want to shouts from as far back as possible. To his credit, he is moving up. I love that line. You know, actually, I am, like, 99% sure I could defeat Lu Bu here. So I'm actually going to leave him alive for now. Specifically, so we'll finally be able to hear Don Dro's line where he just uh, yells for Lu Bu to come and help him. And let's see if uh, Cao Cao says anything to Yuan Chao or not. Now, attack! Uh, 
Continue the attack against the enemy. All right, fine. I'll turn around. Brainless fools. You think I'll just roll over and die? The Unway just not attacking. Go and attack the enemy camp. So Hong with a hundred kills. Did you think you could overcome this base? This isn't my red hair, this is Lu Bu's. Oh well. Take it easy. I would rather live and redeem myself than die in shame. My ambition cannot be stopped. Dong Zhuo lies ahead. Cow Cow, you would do well to commit his image firmly in your mind. If you too stray from the path of righteousness, then you shall suffer the same ugly defeat. How dare you compare one such as me to that wretched pig? My ambitions are not for personal gain. Wait, and you shall see. And that was when Cao Cao decided to lay off the Twinkies. I won't lose a second time. My ambition cannot be stopped. Retreat is an acceptable strategy. My ambition cannot be stopped. Oh, it can open the gate from behind. May as well. It's now or never. All units, advance on the enemy. I like how doing that orders you want our mates you want Chow order to the charge. It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. My ambition cannot be stopped. That was impressive. Yeah, Lubu, don't let them near me. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. Silence you bug. I shall squash you beneath my feet. And I believe that triggers Lubu to turn around and come after Don Duo. Or come to Don Duo. Yep, there he is. Oh he's <laughs> he's raged too. He is not happy. Can you calm down, Lubu? And please get off the horse. You're much easier to fight when you're not on it. Even a guard chasm's getting in on this. <laughs> Does Andro calling him for help also cause him to just keep triggering rage mode? And there goes Yanfei, annihilated. I wish I had a rage token. It'd really help right now. Ah, the double team. <laughs> Actually work really well together. Excellent, 
I didn't think I'd struggle, but Lubu was just not chilling out. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> ah, the peons got knocked into me. Ah, that's it. Missing the horse really hurt me there. Yeah, see, that's what I get for not taking Lubu seriously. The first time I lose to Lubu, it's after I go, eh, I'm like 99% sure I can beat him. <laughs> Alright, can we just get a timeout? Gotta be a full heal around here somewhere. That was impressive. You'd think Dondra would be sitting next to one. But I guess not, I don't see any pots over there. Does he not have any? You would think Don Joe of all people would have like pots around him. Then again, I guess he would have already eaten them all, wouldn't he? Alright, let's try this again. How did you whiff that? Can it? Can I not even hit Lubu? Well, these are off their horses now. Believe it or not, that makes it way harder to fight them. And he is not giving up, is he? Well, here's a red hair. I'm not sure how this one ended up here. Alright, let's go into food run. Let's put an end to this. Yeah, where were you, Dionway? Dion Pei died to keep me safe. What are you doing? There we go. All right, there we go. A pleasure. Go on. We're gonna just take out Dong Zhuo and not bother with Lubu this time. My ambition cannot be stopped. I didn't realize he gets super buffed when uh, Dong Zhuo calls him to his side. Just starts triggering rage mode like every 15 or 30 seconds. We have defeated the rebel leader, Dong Zhuo. I would like to thank each member of the Allied Forces that participated in this struggle. As your leader, I am proud of you all. Now that Dong Zhuo is gone, it is time to disperse the Allied Forces. However, those who fought under the Yuan banner shall never forget the privilege that was bestowed upon them. Sao Sao must die to avenge Sai Mao in advance. <laughs> Just assuming I'm gonna get Sai Mao killed somehow. A new bodyguard. This bodyguard. Since Southside doesn't have uh, Chibi, I doubt I'm even going to see him. The tyrant Dong Zhuo has been defeated, but now his former vassal Lu Bu is on the rampage. Liu Bei has asked me to aid him, so I agreed to send troops to Xiapi. 
In order to force our way into the castle at Xia Pi, we must break through either the west or south gates. However, we cannot forget about the bases surrounding the castle. I'm curious to see what Guo Jia has planned. He should be able to come up with something interesting. I shall follow whatever he proposes. Really feels like Guo Jia should have been playable. This is like two animals feeding on one another. What will you gain from attacking Lubu? Lubu is an animal with no sense of direction or loyalty. He must be eliminated. How dare you compare me to him? Ask me questions that are worth my time. Very well then. What is it that you will do to leave this world out of the chaos? McDonald's, as far as the eye can see. Master Xiao Ho Dun and Yuan, head for the west. Master Liu Bei, lead your army to the south. My lord, Yuan Xu's army is headed this way. Liu Bu and Yuan Shu together? Get the attack ready now. It's the first time I've heard him actually comment on losing a base. We can't even make a dance. We better back off. We've got to do something before Yuan Shu gets here. Break the floodgates. We'll flush them out. <laughs> oh yeah, Zuzi was complaining to Sato about the battle, but this was Liu Bei's idea. <laughs> Cannot be stopped. I'm still debating if I should waste enough time in this stage to get the uh, one shoot to actually show up and help fight do you think you can stop me because I don't like to do nothing for an indeterminate amount of time on stream you know won't lose a second time. My but there's also something we haven't seen happen yet I think that's the first time that the uh, pound the enemy into submission quote has been uttered. I, I think that ends up becoming his uh, officer KO quote in later games. Yeah, I'm aware he won't show up if I flood the castle. Last time I tried to wait for him to uh, actually show up and I defeated everything except the guy defending the floodgate and he still hadn't showed up. It, just, it takes way too long. It'll never happen naturally. Zhang Liao shall take your life. 
I would rather live and redeem myself than die in shame. My ambition cannot be stopped. It's <laughs> ought to give those a face a good scare. They're trying to take the base. Stop them! Uh, what do I think of Sotsov's fighting style in this game compared to the newer ones? Uh, well, in Dynasty Warrior 7, it's boring, because it's just, you know, the basic sword moveset that a lot of people get. Uh, but otherwise, I've always liked his moveset. Uh, I actually enjoy his Dynasty Warriors 8 moveset the most for, like, how it looks. It's a shame they sort of ruined its functionality by only giving it one attack that procs elementals. Like, tier-wise, the moveset's kind of trash. To make it, like, really functional, you have to do a setup that's, uh, like, essentially based around, uh... Landing those... Ah, damn, what were they called? Storm attacks? Burst attacks? Something like that. Did you think you could overcome this base? It's like that auto-attacking thing you suddenly do when you keep attacking someone when you have a weapon advantage over them. Is that where his eight moves that is good for that? And not much else. And I guess his Dynasty Warrior 6 moveset is okay. It's Dynasty Warrior 6, so it just feels kind of samey compared to everything else, but... The motions are cool, I guess. Definitely the moveset I'm least familiar with. If they're so eager to die, then we'll be happy to oblige them. Storm Rush, yeah, that sounds right. That's basically everything on the map. I guess we'll just wait for Yuan Xiu to show up. As Gao Xun keeps reinforcing that floodgate, which I'm convinced does nothing. Do I prefer short or long hair, Sao Tso? I don't care. Yeah, I was just thinking, I didn't think Sao Tso's hair really got much longer than this. Although, uh, like a weird trend for, like, Dynasty Warrior 6, and for a couple games onward, I think, a lot of the characters just have, like, really long sideburns. Like, if you look at Sao Tso, Lu Bu, and I think Liu Bei, for example, on their models, like, they have hair, they have sideburns hair going down to, like, their chest. It's kind of ridiculous. Best Sao costume ranking, uh...
I guess four and eight are my favorite ones. I guess four, eight, seven, five, three, two, one. And before you ask, no, I don't count nine. Basically assume I never count nine. How long does it take you on shoe to show up? Okay, it's almost been 10 minutes. He's gotta show up at the 10 minute mark, right? The floodgate has almost been reinforced. Favorite Dion Way hairstyle? Uh, Dynasty Warriors 11, definitely. Uh, I do actually think the character designs are really good in Dynasty Warriors 9. It's just I don't... I'm not familiar enough with the game to like really have a good mental image of what their costumes even look like. I just I didn't play it that much. Once you should appear down here. It'll happen. Right? It'll happen, right? At some point I may give Dynasty Warriors 9 another chance, just you know, for the sake of it. Apparently there has been a lot of patches that might have helped fix some of my complaints. Plus it might be fun to stream and just shit on the terrible voice acting. Failed to take the floodgates. Lubu, you should be grateful for our help. God finally! Let's see, he shows up with four sub-officers, and G-Ling also with four sub-officers! Holy shit! <laughs> Ten officers! Wow! It's kind of impressive! I shall show no mercy. You miss out a lot of VXP if you actually succeed in a flood attack. Lubu's entire army is charging. Trying to catch up to all the sub-officers so I can take them all out. The Yushun is way up there. Attack with the swiftness of red hair. Lubu himself started moving. It really did mean his entire army. Faced a worthy opponent. My ambition cannot be stopped. Retreat is an acceptable strategy. My ambition cannot be stopped. <laughs> oh, yeah, my forces finally defeated Gaoshun on their own. Now, my ambition cannot 
be stopped. <laughs> I won't be denied next time. My ambition cannot be stopped. It's probably like the largest bunch of reinforcements that have ever showed up in this game. I can't think of another time where five officers just drop out of nowhere. suddenly swarmed me. Wow, they're all just gained up together, huh? Second time. My ambition cannot be stopped. I must retreat. For now. My ambition <laughs> cannot be stopped. I think we get the message, so so. I had said even Lubu started moving. He moved like five feet outside of his main camp. We're also getting a little bit more EXP because, uh, I believe Ho Ching gets washed away by the flood attack. So that's 11 officer kills we wouldn't normally have. And hey, we actually get to look around this area. And when it's not flooded. You can tell they intended for no one to actually look around it, because there's nothing here. There's trees, and that's literally it. Sharpie is mine. The only place you'll get is where I leave your corpse. Oh yeah, Wei Shu does defend, doesn't he? So that's 12 officer kills we miss out on. Some battles you lose. My ambition cannot be stopped. 700 KOs here. We mustn't let them steal all of the- Yeah, Song Xian defense, but I think you can defeat him. I think he's outside fighting. One of them is, anyways. Like, one of them is outside and fighting, you can defeat. Another gets washed away by the flood, and another defects. It looks like charging also makes Lubu uh, not retreat. Excellent fools. 
Like, normally he just try to run away once he lowered his health. How did all those miss? Let me go, you whelps! You can't kill me! You're nothing! Lu Bu, you are bringing shame to your honor. Even defeated generals have pride. You must be strong to the very end. Rest in peace, Lu Bu. It appears that my leadership and military might have surpassed even yours. Even so, it was a most difficult battle. Only because I made it difficult. With the death of Lu Bu, will the land finally know peace? No. The tides of time can be stopped by no man. No, there will surely be many more battles to come. <laughs> A new body, this bodyguard. Superior B. Superiors are rare. I have a superior A. This is a sword fighter. Let's see. Who do I toss out? Mm, I don't need three archers. So, Feng Shu or Mao Zhen. Do I have another veteran S? Like I don't. I don't have another remarkable S either. Well, I like red better than green, so. Now that Dong Zhuo and Lu Bu have been taken care of, the threat to the land has been diminished. Now I shall begin on my path to conquest over the land. We shall advance our army to Guangzhou to force a showdown with Yuan Shao. Even though the enemy army is large, Yuan Shao is an inept commander. They will be no match for us. I shall go join the battle at Bai Ma. Once we are finished there, I will go teach that impudent Yuan Shao just how worthless he is. Yeah, the dream is unlocking a superior S bodyguard. But those only exist in myth. We've seen this cutscene so many times, I don't care about talking over it anymore. Uh, on its own, Dynasty Warriors 5 Extreme Legends doesn't have a Musa mode. You have to uh, have both the original and Extreme Legends. Then you combine them. Through the, uh, the load original feature. And lots of new item slots, so what do I equip? Ah, I never went and unlocked the wind scroll. Ah, damn it. Sure, I guess arm guards. I'm still gonna use Dion Pei despite getting a new bodyguard, just because Dion Pei just feels way too appropriate for South South. That's how it's going to have a cutscene anyway, or I figure it would be be with uh, Yuan Chao. Maybe the cutscene at the beginning will count as, you know, his cutscene. Cow Cow, how dare you stand before me? Such insolence! I, the Honorable Yuan Shao, shall bring justice to these traitors! Hm. I fail to see what's so honorable about having everything handed to you at birth. You rode on the backs of your loyal retainers. You shall be leaving now. 
Forgot that's how it gets a new starting cutscene. Normally you'll see him riding off with Guan Yu in a cutscene. It's a shame we missed an opportunity to see two red hairs in the cutscene. This isn't looking good. Cannot be stopped. Also, I like the flames on his cape during this outfit. Everybody, we must not fall behind. Yang Liang, Kao Kao, I'll make you pay. The enemy is sure to open their stores at Wu Chao. Keep pressing them until they do. Tian Pei stealing a kill, as he does. Fortunately, getting kills doesn't really matter now. That's how hit Matt's level in the last battle. What happens when I go along the top this time? Shadowdoon is very melodramatic. Oh. I'll never back down. <laughs> and there goes you, Jim. <laughs> I'll never back down from a fight. You, Jim, has been defeated. <laughs> Has fallen? Are you sure about this? What's up, officer? Don't you, Zhang He? Oh, but he's way down there. Like a moth drawn to a flame. Cho really does cause a lot of damage. I think the front is doing fine, Yuan Chao. Your front, anyways. Right on cue. Now, obliterate Wu Chao. It's a siege weapons.
I can probably start skipping that cutscene. It's not very exciting, is it? They don't even voice the peons reacting or anything. Nah, it'll be fine. Once I take Wu Chow, everything will work out. Prepare yourself. I must retreat. For now, my ambition cannot be stopped. It certainly is noisy. What is happening? The enemy has attacked Wu Chao. It's in flames. What's that? Kao Kao, you pretentious fool! I kill you one Chao. I have to give out my credit card number. Ah, well. The screen just stops here. <laughs> the frame rate I'm very surprised that defense base is still standing Genji is still out for blood There went the defense base. The way Kane just kind of going insane over here. And expertly duking me. Why did I refine you get to live? You will not live through this battle. Man, there are a lot of troops down here, huh? Well, I think that's the crisis averted here. Yeah, it's just your one child left. I still have a few officers standing, too. All generics, but they're still standing. Jinji has seven husbands now. I like how you've been keeping track of how many times Jinji has said that line.
Some battles you win, and some battles you lose. My ambition cannot be stopped. Retreat is an acceptable strategy. My ambition cannot be stopped. Don Chao really likes these strategist sub officers, doesn't he? I'm not really worried about the castle right now. We shall find who the true hero of the land is. Our base has fallen? Are you sure about this? And you shouldn't be worried about bases right now. Yuan Shao is dead. He was concerned only with pride and ignored the opinions of his advisors. Whereas we believed in ability, valued good counsel. This battle was over before it started. There are still bigger threats to our power out there than Yuan Shao. We must prepare for the inevitable battles ahead and deal with them when they come. <laughs> A new body, this bodyguard. Are bodyguards just completely random? Like you just have to keep playing long enough? After winning the battle of Guandu, I mobilized my troops to attack Liu Bei. However, things did not turn out as I had hoped. Liu Bei went to Jiangling and formed an alliance with Sun Quan. Together, they obliterated my fleet at Chi Bi. The destruction I witnessed will forever be etched in my mind. I must take action to recover my losses. I have to survive this battle and drive back Sun Quan and Liu Bei so that I may return to destroy them later. Oh, is there really nothing on the map right now? Just Cao Cao. All right. Yeah, I think I'll stick with his second outfit for now. I do like the flames on his fourth outfit, but uh, I like the color of his second one. I give credit to his voice actor. He really tried there. <laughs> I wasn't really feeling his emotion from the narration, but uh, that was pretty good. This is like the Battle of South South Screams. Usually you relax pretty harshly to every ambush, too. It's about time I face a worthy opponent. Actually, can I cheese this stage? What are the conditions? South South. Okay, I have to defeat Sun Quan and Liu Bei. So I have to defeat them. I can't just rush to the escape point and win that way.
finally made it! Yeah, he won, just comes to battle with a broom. I have come for your head. It's about time I face a worthy opponent. My ambition cannot be stopped. Is that bridge already destroyed? Yeah, it looks like it is. You never get to use this bridge, no matter what, what side you play the stage on. It's gonna be kind of annoying when I reach the end of the, th the stage and Sun Quan appears back here at the beginning. Then I have to go all the way down to fight him. Fool! After all that, you left this spot unguarded? Zhao Yun has arrived! Why would you even say that, Cao Cao? Like, that one you were asking for. Retreat is an acceptable strategy. My ambition cannot be stopped. We've arrived at last. The enemy commander's head is mine. Impressive, Cao Cao. The land will surely be yours. Impressive. Next time, I shall emerge victorious. My ambition cannot be stopped. Sorry, I got sick of waiting. Shang Fei 2? Charge! Keep up or be left behind! I won't be denied next time. My ambition cannot be stopped. This one's mine. Don't move. Looks like I'm not too late. Now, 
Attack! I have a chance to win this. Halt, cow cow. Turn and face me. Ah. You know, I don't really have to turn and face you when you appear in front of me. Don't let him get away. Can't get away. Even Sun Quan's after me. That line was new. I guess that's there just to let you know to defeat Sun Quan. I'll go back for Sun Quan later, since I'm already this close to the north. I'll go ahead and trigger Liga Bay. My lord, Guan Yu is waiting for us up ahead. Guan Yu is a man of honor. His debt to you is our greatest advantage yet. This where my struggle finally ends? Guan Yu, was my fate decided from the very moment that you left me? Go. It is still not possible for me to forget my debt to you. But that debt ends here. The next time you oppose my lord, I will kill you. Remember that, Lord Cao Cao. Nice to see the Major from the first cutscene have stuck around. Master Cow Cow, you'll get no further than this. I'm already behind you, but okay. Hey, what are you doing in my way? You think you're better than me? Sounds out taking his appearance very personally. It'd be nice if Sun Quan would at least, like, advance toward me. Maybe save save me some time when I have to go back for him. Impressive, Cao Cao. The land will surely be yours. As long as the people are suffering, I shall fight for them. My ambition cannot be stopped. We can't just stand around doing nothing. Let's move. Okay, there he goes. You're finished, Cow Cow. Don't you dare insult me. Prepare yourself. Sounds like I was just completely lost his school for this battle, huh? Break through our forces.
Shame my army can't defeat commanders, otherwise they'd probably defeat Sun Quan on their own. Time to finish this. They're certainly tearing through his officers. Shang Liao, 100 KOs. No time for rest, Cao Cao. Attack! We have a chance to win this. Keep up the attack! If you are such a great general, then prove it! Must approach this calmly. Time to retreat. My ambition cannot be stopped. We barely managed to escape. This battle all came about because of my carelessness should be happy that we escaped with our lives. We almost didn't. We shall have our vengeance for this defeat. We must quickly build up our military strength and crush Liu Bei and Sun Quan. They shall pay for incurring my wrath. Damn it, I told you guys not to tell Xiao that I killed Ching Yuanji. Oh well. Can we donate money to make sure you don't play as someone? I mean, I guess. No, I'm actually gonna say no on that one. Because then there'll be someone that, like, here's five dollars, don't play as Lubu, and I'm just like, no. People are gonna want to see Lubu play through. Which I've already done, by the way, but just, just an example. I managed to escape from Chibi, but Liu Bei became more powerful by acquiring both land and support from his people. Thus, a new hero was born. However, our immediate concern is the meddlesome Sun family. They intend to attack Heifei while we are busy with Liu Bei. Our defenses there are thin. If we don't strengthen them, then they will fall for sure. There are several bases located throughout the area. Use them to slowly proceed forward and attack the enemy formation. This is our best strategy. Sao just starting in the middle. I like how his uh, sub officer is already here, like Josh Yu, along with his troops, too. Normally, Sao Tsao shows up as reinforcements. Which also robs Zhang Liao of his commander status. Why am I even doing the screens? Yeah, just for fun. Construct a strong fortress in this land from which to attack Wu. That was the plan. Therefore, I cannot afford to lose this battle. Keep up the defense until the reinforcements get here. Everyone, secure a neutral base and prepare for the enemy. Unfortunately, they spawn you in like a terrible position to get a neutral base. Good luck if you think you can break through our defenses. We've successfully captured a base. Now leave the 
attack even further from that base. Your zero simps don't play as OC. Nah, I'm definitely gonna play as him at some point. And maybe like the last Musa mode I play. He doesn't have any like unique stages to him, but he is supposed to be like a really overpowered character. And he has eight stages, so he's like the other's ruler. Get over here, please. Now, take them all out at once. Good luck if you think you can break through our defenses. Oh, thanks. I think Tao Tao is actually talking here. Like doing his job as commander. I do wonder why they don't have a uh, Sinquan advance on the wayside of this. It means the uh, the bridge jumping cutscene just doesn't happen. This is north, so I guess I'll help Lidian first and just hope you again will be okay. Teach them the strength of our forces. Oh, my 
And nice, Yu Fong appeared to help uh, Yu Jin down there. These defense spaces are so nice, we're always wishing you good luck. I think, uh, Tushy C backed up, yeah. Him and Looming both retreated down to Sun Quan. Only the sub-officers are out there still fighting. Jung Liao pretty much can't die with how massive his morale is. You think you can break through our defenses? That's it, he can't win either because only the player can kill commanders. Gan Ning shows up to ambush Cao Cao. Little does he know, Cao Cao was attacking Tsung Quan. Who's appeared in basically the worst position. Actually... Okay, yeah. I don't lose if they take Hefei Castle or anything like that, so... We're good. I can pretty much entirely ignore Gan Ning if I want to. Trying to find all the sub officers around here. I won't be denied next time. My cannot be And Yu Jin was fine. He is tearing through Lu Bean's forces now. I won't be denied next time. My ambition cannot be stopped. <laughs> I could go all the way around and defeat Gan Ning, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any unique lines with Cao Cao, so I'm not going to bother. Just let him be useless for the whole battle. Such a 
such a great general. Then prove it. Crush them beneath us. I think I was too far up to hit anyone with that. One more hit on Lu Ming would be great. Taishi C was defeated off screen. Finally. There are lessons to be learned even in defeat. My ambition cannot be stopped. The time has come. All units, attack! We were kind of already doing that, Cao Cao. I mean, hell, you're fighting Sun Quan. Approach this calmly. Time to retreat. My ambition cannot be stopped. A smaller force defeating a much larger army. That is the beauty of strategy. Who must have thought they would win that battle? are surely disappointed. We probably won't be hearing from them for a while. Now we must turn our attention to Liu Bei. But we won't be able to do anything until we've allowed some time for our current wounds to heal. A new bodyguard has come to this bodyguard. A brilliant S. I have as another bow user. I already have a brilliant S too. I have two- I have three brilliant S's. Yeah, get out of here. A lot of my bodyguards are really smart. I emerged victorious from the Battle of Heifei. Afterward, the land split into three divisions between myself, Sun Quan, and Liu Bei, with each of us struggling to gain the advantage. But everyone must die sooner or later. The only other person I deemed a hero of the land, Liu Bei, has already left this world, leaving behind Zhuge Liang to govern things in his place. Shu is nothing without Liu Bei, and I shall soon put an end to it personally. It is the least I can do for Liu Bei, who I knew from the dawn of this age of chaos. I so didn't acknowledge Liu Bei much in this story. Please leave this battle to me. We will resist the enemy attack and strike at them when the opportunity arises. Shu will be obliterated in no time. This attack is as if Shu Ge Liang is worried about something. Perhaps he does not have much longer to live. Could not have asked for a better gift from the heavens. There is no need to concern ourselves over Shu. We simply must hold out and wait until the enemy begins to collapse from fatigue. Feels like quite a time skip. They just keep coming, rambling on about virtue. I can't put up with this much longer. Yes, but it won't last. Soon, Shu Ge Liang will perish, and Shu will fall. And when they do, the land is ours, and the chaos will finally come to an end. 
Everyone, you must not lose hope. In this battle, victory will be ours. Yeah, there were tons of battles they could have had for Cao Cao. Instead, he just give him Wujang planes. And as with Cao Pi, he's just on the map. Like, he has a commander status, but he has no troops, no subs, anything. Meanwhile, Simi Yi has all the troops and the sub officers. Oh, wow. Xiao Ba, Xiao Hui, and Xiao Mao all start with two morale. No wonder they get their asses kicked. This battle is so stacked against you. Why are they so not into this fight? My empire will be reality. This isn't looking good. If they're so eager to die, then we'll be happy to oblige them. This offensive cannot last forever. Hold the front line until opportunity presents itself. They will not get past us so easily. The, uh, the way forces have much better bases uh, when you're playing a Shu. Like, it's supposed to be a defensive line, but we have four attack bases. Only one is actually a defense base. What sub officers are the most threatening right now? Isn't she up there? There's a bunch of way ons over here. Guess we'll go after them. Master Sima Yi, we have brought what you ordered. Master Sima Yi says to ready the catapult. Hurry! Uh, it's me. This will change the tide of the battle. You have finally come this far. That means it's up to me to tear you back down. Oh, all right. So let's see you just showing up with an ultimatum. Ambush party. The time is now. Yeah, it looks like he's heading straight for Zhang Hui. See, where is he? No troops, only five morale. He's just on the map. No. With Zhang Hui gone, the catapults are useless. It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. My ambition cannot be stopped. It's all see, he just goes after Xiao Ba. The land of favor by defeating you. I'm pretty sure you can only fight to C in Muso mode. Like in normal stages, I'm sure in like challenge modes and whatnot, you can. Is dead, and Leong too will perish at any moment. With them gone, you have almost no enemies left, unless. Someone new arises to challenge me? Let them try. I'll destroy anyone who stands in my way. Victory, defeat, it all means very little in the end. My ambition. Oh, he'll actually appear in free mode as well? Interesting. I just assumed he wouldn't. My might bows to no one. I won't be denied next time. 
My ambition cannot be stopped. <laughs> A strange new weapon has been spotted in the shoe camp. A fresh transport unit. Block the supply line. Yeah, I'll just leave the supply line alone until they handle some of the officers up here. People telling me to save Shadowbot. Yeah, I left the Yanpei over there. The catapults are ready, sir. Fire. Fire at will. Leave not a single enemy soldier alive. Please let me move. Apparently, Wei Yan's element is ice, which is not what I would expect from him. Not mean to press triangle. The, yeah, Chen Shi is up there. Okay, only two more left to worry about. I won't be denied next time. My ambition cannot be stopped. The enemy commander is mine. And Shahoba got defeated anyways. There is no saving Shahoba. He is too damn weak. Juga the young has fallen and he can't get up. I won't lose a second time. My ambition cannot be stopped. The Shu army has initiated retreat. Wow, that doesn't need to get anywhere close to where uh, the game implies that they need to be. It's like about here we must be that the Woodots need to get before they get teleported to the main camp and uh, way morale or shoe morale increases. But the notification is right there in the center of the map, so it implies they have to get there. This may be the end for my army. Yeah. 
and there went Zhao away. Unfortunately for Shu, their bases are still like Jugalion troops, so their morale is pathetic. What? Zhuge Liang is back? Ah, Zhang Wei. Do you really think you can replace your master? Halt the advance! Withdraw for now, and rebuild the camp. The wave forces moved back and forth a lot for this battle. This may be the end for my army. This isn't looking good. I always knew you'd come for me. Shao Mao apparently expected Cao Cao himself to come and save him. I believe if you wait long enough, CME will eventually uh, order the army to charge again. Which might make it a little bit easier to take on the Arbalist if you have allies to help. But they're not too hard to just sneak around and defeat. The main thing that might make this battle difficult is that the way for or the Shu forces just keep getting morale boost. Wei's doing all right for morale now, but you really have odd stats against you when it starts. And we actually got some reinforcements. I don't think I noticed that the last time I played. Who was it? Liu Yi. I don't know who the hell that is. Don't push too hard. Fall back and rebuild the camp. Ah! 
And now she'll get more reinforcements. Yeah, now you order this guys to attack. Nice that it also raises morale as well. Unfortunately, destroying the Arbalus is sort of boring. If I had to compare it to anything, it'd be like chopping wood. Only if the wood periodically shot arrows at you. And there were some fire-breathing tigers around. Yanpei did pretty good manhandling once, whoa. Also, did I miss an Arbalist? Ah, this one didn't break. There we go. The Arbalists are down. Now hit the enemy back hard. I don't even know if I need stat ups anymore. Uh, yeah, I do. I guess it takes a while to get match stats in this game. What is that? It just exploded. There must be someone handling those explosives. Find them and take them out now. Hello. I can't tell if you're brave or just foolish. Ow. You know, a really cruel thing to do would be, uh, like, when the battle starts, just rush your Ying and kill her before Zhuge Liang has had a chance to die. Another task leader around here somewhere? I can maybe stop these spots from blowing up spontaneously. Yep, there it is. Thank you. 
Let me take out these juggernauts before I engage Young Wei. I think that was all of them. We need more officers like you. Officer, excuse me. Jean Gui doesn't even get a final boss cutscene. He got that at Tian Chui, but not at Wu Jing Plains. Cannot be stopped. It is a simple task to defeat an army that is in a hurry. The Shu army and Zhuge Liang. It was the fate of their two stars to fall on the fields of the Wu Zhang plain. And now, the fate of Wu and the Sun family lies within the hands of Wei as well. There is nothing left that we need fear. We simply need to make the necessary preparations and finish them off at our leisure. Is that better than the one I have? Eh, it's okay. I'll keep it anyways. New body, this bodyguard. Remarkable C. Why even exist? What are you done with your life? Chu has fallen by my hand. Now, my only adversary in my quest to rule the land is the Sun family of Jiang Dong. The Sun family. They have only grown larger and stronger throughout this chaos. Perhaps I underestimated the strength of the Tiger's bloodline. However, the time for me to realize my ambition is close at hand. I shall not back down from the Tiger. I shall face him. This shall be our final battle. It appears that Wu thinks they have an opportunity to attack us while we are busy fighting with Shu. This is the perfect chance for us to destroy Wu. Their forces are merely taking a position. Wu considers this to be the final battle. Therefore, they will be coming at us with everything they have. We should defend the castle and attack once the enemy begins to show signs of fatigue. My lord, the land shall soon be yours. And naturally, you skipped a cutscene where Sao P would be in charge. There's a lot of cutscenes uh, Sao Tzu has we've just skipped. Like, he has one for, for Fawn Castle, he has one for, uh, for Liu Bei. Like, that leads into Chang Ban, and we just skipped all that. And then, again, awkwardly, he's just on the map with no troops. While Sao P still has all the troops and the uh, sub-officers.
This is an enormous castle, Father. To think that Wu has come this far. Hold your tongue. This is all due to my oversight, Chi Bi. But this time, we'll hunt down and slay the entire Sun family. You, you know that's just one person now, right? Maybe Satsu just has a thing for killing off entire families. I think last time I did this, I went on my way to leave Lu Shun alive. But I may as well try and play a bit more op optim optimally. At least, unlike Soon Jian, Cao Cao had plenty of cutscenes. And they were easy to get, too, like, most of them just play at the beginning of the stage. Get actually in this stage pretty quickly if you were to just rush Sun Quan. I'm curious if I defeat Lu Shun, will that make Sun Quan have more lines instead? I 
Yeah, Lee Shun is already dead. We must keep their rams away from the castle. Destroy them before they break through our wall. through their plan. So, my might is not enough. My ambition cannot be stopped. That's what we've been waiting to see. Hands are sturdy. Okay, so that did actually change things. Like defeating Lu Xu in that early. The last time we played this, CME said that they uh, outsmarted him and called everyone back. But this time he just like, screw it, doesn't matter. Keep charging. Yeah, it may play the losing theme regardless. Kind of sounds losing theme to me. I'm actually not sure what the name of this track is.
ambition cannot be stopped. I shall show no mercy. Smileless? Yeah, that definitely sounds like a losing theme. Yeah, South B's already cleared out the top left. Of course, I'm sure Jin Ji did more of the heavy lifting. I guess people are happy that I saved Manchong. That's all well and good. Just remember that Sao Mao is dead by now. Sao Mao, sorry. health but I'll probably be fine let me show you the fighting spirit of the soon family cow cow I shall be your opponent really hard to win that on hard I didn't realize he had another sub-officer when I engaged him. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to stop getting in deadlots, because that's gonna get me killed. I just cannot beat him on this difficulty. I don't know what Sun and Quan is doing right now.
fighting spirit of the Soon family of Wu. I'll put an end to your reckless ambitions. Yanpei is actually doing really good. I have let my father Got that a lot in that fight. My ambition cannot be stopped. I should have expected this from Wu, to cause this much trouble for our army. This truly was a fitting battle with which to sound the end of the Three Kingdoms era. With Shu and Wu both gone, there are none left to oppose Wei's ownership of the land. <laughs> I think I might actually kind of miss them. Perhaps it is nothing. They worded that in just, just well enough that, oh, nice. Oh, plus 20. I'm surprised to see an item upgraded. They worded that just well enough that it could be applied for Sao Tso and still makes sense. Because Sao P never directly says, like, Wei belongs to him or anything. This body got... <laughs> Battle of Wu... <laughs> Battle of new Wu Jing planes next. Yeah, despite having eight stages, we actually missed out, like, on a lot of stuff Cao Cao does. Like, Guan Yu is barely acknowledged. And I don't think he ever says a word to Dian Wei. Should use it. Draws even closer. However, the real battle for the land has just begun. This land has already seen much chaos, but sometimes it is necessary to achieve peace. Yuju was in his Dynasty Warriors 4 outfit for that cutscene, for whatever reason. Oh yeah, and I guess Shahadun was still alive. <laughs> because why not? Even though he stopped appearing for like... When was the last stage he was in? He might have been the... Oh, uh, it was Escape from TV. No, it was Heifei, yeah. I guess he didn't show up for a while, but there's such a time skip between Heifei and Wuzhang Plains. He didn't- he wasn't there for like the two most important battles. Where is Xiao Yuan? Xiao Yuan is dead and buried, most likely. His moveset wasn't good enough to survive in this land. Two clouds Musa mode next. Uh, if only I knew how to unlock them. In all these years, I never figured out how. Yeah, I'll play Looming Nets, because everyone's just going to request that. If I say I'm not, you guys are just going to start chanting Looming Good. Like a freaking cult. Looming inside my Nets. I could kind of do that. <laughs> if I, like, played Looming and then... And then brought over my Xbox 360 and played Dungeon Warriors 5 Empires and played a Psy Mao there. I'm not going to. Technically good. But yeah, I think I said last time I'd play, uh, Jane Zhao as well, so...
Next stream, I'll play Lu Ming and Zhang Zhao. Alright, that's it for this stream, so thanks for watching. See you guys next time.